Hello everyone. Welcome you in my YouTube channel. I am Dr. Mohammad Sirajul Akfaisi, Assistant Professor, Department of Chemistry, Ellis College, Muzaffarpur. Friend, in this video, I am going to talk about greenhouse effects. So, yeah, I am going to start with electromagnetic spectrum. Electromagnetic spectrum radiations in the form of waves, stars and galaxies give off electromagnetic radiations. Some waves can be seen as visible light while others are invisible. The color you see corresponds to wavelength of radiations. Wavelength and frequency of wave determines the type of radiation. Wavelength is equal to distance between two waves. Frequency, number of waves per second, amplitude, amplitudes, wave height from wave trough to crest. Now, solar energy. The speed of light is, look at here, 1, 2, 3, 4, that much, meter per second, means 3.0 into 10 to power 8 meter per second. Sunlight takes 8 minutes to reach Earth. The farther away a star is, the older the light we see. Almost everything that we know about the universe comes from studying the light wave that is emitted or reflected by object in space. By detecting and analyzing the light emitted by an object in a space, Astronomers can learn about its distance, motions, temperature, density, and chemical compositions. So this is the gamma rays, X-rays, UV visible, IR, and radio. Now parts of wave. The white lines represent the rest positions of medium when no wave is present. This white. The yellow line represents the positions of the medium as a wave travel through it. We simply say that the yellow line is the wave. Now the highest section of the wave that rises above the raised position is called the crest. Look at here. And the lowest section of the wave which lies below the raised position is called the trough. Now the amplitude is the maximum positive or negative displacement from the rest positions of the medium to the top of a crest or to the bottom of the tuff. Look at this, either this or this. Now wavelength. The wavelength of a wave is the distance between any two successive corresponding locations on the wave medium. This distance is usually measured in one of three ways, crest to next crest trough to next trough or from the start of a wave cycle to the next starting point. Frequency refers to how many waves are made per time interval. This is usually described as how many waves are made per second or cycle per second. If 10 waves are made per second, then the frequency is said to be 10 cycle per second, written as 10 CPS. We use the unit hertz to stationary frequency, state frequency. A frequency of 10 CPS is noted as a frequency of 10 hertz. So one cycle per second is one hertz. As in one cycle per second is equal to one hertz. The unit of frequency are the hertz, one hertz. So electromagnetic radio wave, longest wavelength, lowest frequency, lowest energy. Microwave, long wavelength, low frequency, low energy. Infrared wave, medium wavelength, medium frequency, medium energy. Visible wave, medium wavelength, medium frequency, medium energy, cooler spectrum, and that is the color spectrum of waves you, you know. Ultraviolet waves, medium wavelength, medium frequency, and medium energy. X-ray waves, short wavelength, high frequency, high energy. Gamma rays or gamma ray waves, shortest wavelength, highest frequency, highest energy. 
look at from here to here this is the shorted wavelength very short this is the longest wavelength now you look at here gamma rays x rays visible ir radio so here big and you see gamma rays wave velocity wavelengths into frequency so speed of light meter per second 3.0 into 10 power 8 meter per second a tuning fork has a frequency of 440 hertz and the wavelength of the sound produced is 2.15 meter calculate the velocity of the wave so just go through the question you have the hertz you have the meter and then you just meter per second organic light has wavelength of 5.5 into 10 to the -6 meter what is its frequency so calculate it with the help of this is the hertz now greenhouse effect the greenhouse effect is the rise in temperature that the earth experience because certain gases in the atmosphere water vapor carbon dioxide nitrous oxide and methane trap energy from the sun without these gases heat would escape back into the space and earth average temperature would be about 60 fahrenheit colder because of how they warm our world these gases are referred to as greenhouse gases so selected greenhouse gases carbon dioxide source fossil fuel burning deforestation and through pogenic increase 30% average atmospheric incidence time 500 years methane source rice cultivation cattle sheep ranching decay from landfills mining anthropogenic increase 145% average atmospheric residence time 7 to 10 years nitrous oxide in two source industries and agriculture fertilizers anthropogenic increase 50% average atmospheric residence time 140 to 190 years climate change versus variability climate variability is neutral or natural means that is the natural it will vary even in a stable climate regime there will always be some variations be it dry years warm cold years a year with the completely average or normal climate conditions is rare the challenge for the scientist is to determine whether any increase or decrease in precip precipitation temperature frequency of a storm sea level etc is due to the climate variability or climate change so climate change versus variability you see the year and this is a temperature how it is change now the green house effects look at this is earth this is atmosphere some solar radiations is reflected by the earth and the atmosphere solar radiations passes through the clear atmosphere so this is the pictorial diagram now greenhouse effect fact this level of an increase in increase in co2 emissions in last been caused by a change, change from the agricultural industrial lifestyle we have very high energy consumption and we pollute and generate a large amount of co2 We've also made this problem worse by removing the lungs of planet Earth, the forests, through deforestation. The overall effects of this is that the global temperatures are warming on planet Earth. This has the effect of melting polar ice caps, flooding people at sea level, and with the more powerful storms being generated uh, as the oceans are warmer. Look at it. what can we do reduce consumption of fossil fuel at home insulate home run dishwashers food 
a wide temperature steams ac and furniture furnaces wash cloths on warm not hot mow lawn less often small engines on the road bike instead of drive carpool energy efficient vehicles support environment organizations reduce reuse recycle 3r rely on alternate energy sources solar wind energy hydroelectric power ozone depletions we you know o3 absorb harmful uv radiations from sun ozone is produced during lightning storm chlorofluorocarbons destroy ozone chlorofluorocarbons protections was banned in 1977 depletion of ozone layer ozone is upper atmosphere block ultraviolet light from sun uv causes skin cancer and contracts o3 depletion is caused by chlorofluorocarbons so why, where is the chlorofluorocarbons used refrigerator aerosol propellants so banned in us so free on chlorofluorocarbons is it trifluoro methane trichlorofluoromethane free on 11 or dichloro dichloromethane free on 1 to 12 so they are odorless non toxic non flammable and very stable greenhouse effect versus ozone hole so topic greenhouse effect topic ozone hole how it is related global warming by trapping heat on earth caused by build up of co2 carbon dioxide plant trees to slow down and burn less fossil fuel and that produce carbon dioxide environmental issue related to earth atmosphere man made pollen and difference depletions of o3 ozone layer causes skin cancer and cataracts caused by chlorofluorocarbons and replacement of chlorofluorocarbon in ac and refrigerator this is the graph for changing atmosphere carbon dioxide you see this x axis and this is change in temperature relative to recent past degree celsius CO2 concentration in ppm. So the CO2 concentration in the atmosphere has varied substantially over time, and temperature has varied directly with the changing CO2. Now, will you perspective CO2 range 200 to 280 ppm? We we'll see temperature in five degree. So CO2 change in the last 300 years you see how graph is going up so theory predict that increasing co2 will warm the planet what to we see industrial revolutions from thermometer from video records glacier melting ice caps have melted back by 80% since early 19 90s will be gone by 2020 all glacier in tro- tropics are melting rapidly impacts water supply power generations tourism local climates and ecology you see warming is the faster than models projections recent rapid melting glaciers on greenland observed changes in the glacier you see Antarctic sea ice has shrunk by 1 million square kilometer and thin from from this trend ecological consequence in huge now see the situations sea ice melting warming temperature rate of warming 8 times faster in last 20 years than in last 100 years ecosystem impacts reduce ice less algal protections under ice determines base of food chains see you see polar bears 